Now we're going to take a look at working in Design View. So to get started, I've opened up the SBC database, and I'm going to go to my product info table and open that up. And by default, it's set to open in the data sheet view. And if we want to take a look at design view, we can either go on our home tab to the views, or if we're on the data sheet tab, we can also get to the views. And if we just click right here on this button, it will take us to the design view. So if I click, I'm taken to the design view. We can also see the other views available, but we want to be in the design view. So when we first open up our design view, what we see at the top is the field information, and at the bottom we see our field properties, and we have some general properties and some lookup properties. And we'll be going over in a little bit more detail in the next lesson about the field properties and setting those up and what they all mean and what they all are. So let's go ahead and take a look at our field information. It has the field name, the data type, and an area for a description. So what we can do, for example, is we can go ahead and type in a description for each of our fields. For example, the first one is the product ID. So I would say this is the product ID. Now, if I want, I can go ahead and I can go to the bottom of my list and I can create a new field. So let's say, for example, I want to figure out the amount of products sold. So I'll just call this amount sold. And when I go to data type, again, I can select the data type. For example, I want this to be number. Down here in the field properties, we can change the field size if we want. We also have the option of formatting in field properties as well. We can type in a description, the amount of product sold. And we can also go ahead and move our fields around. For example, if we select the amount sold field and we click and drag it up. We can then release it right here under serial number and it will be moved. The column will be moved after the serial number field will have the amount sold field. So you can move your columns around while you're in design view. You can add descriptions. You can change the data type and let's say, for example, if I go to data type, I get a drop down box. I can choose the various data types text, memo, number, date, time, currency, auto number, yes, no, OLE object, hyperlink, attachment, or lookup wizard. We'll leave this set on number. And each data type has different property fields or field properties. So if I go to a text data type, you can see that the properties have changed. Whereas if I go to my currency data type, you can see they change again. And also there's a lookup tab. So for example, if I have the product category selected and I go to lookup, we can see that we have a combo box for the display control and the row source is product category and it's a table or query. So we know we're using the lookup, whereas if I went to a different one and went to lookup, you can see there's nothing here. But there is general properties for the currency. So we can also, if we are looking over here in the right side in this little window, it actually tells us information. So if I click on the format, you can see here it says that the display layout for the field, select a predefined format or enter a custom format, press F1 for help on formats. So again, we can select a the description field and type in the description for each one of our fields. 
our data type and our field name. So now if we're working in design view, again we have a design tab and along the top we have our views, we have our primary key which you can use to set it or remove it and we'll be going over primary keys later. We have a builder for building expressions. We can test the validation rules if we've created validation rules in our table. We can insert rows, delete rows, and create lookup columns. And we also have a property sheet which allows us to set up all of the properties for the table. So if you go through and look at this, you can set up your properties and you can close out of this or you can just use the defaults and you don't even have to look at it. We also have indexes where it'll show us what indexes we have and we have our primary key and we have our product ID under indexes. And this is indexes in our database and in this particular table that we're working in. So let's go ahead and close out of the indexes and that is how you would work within your design view.